My name's Evan Gatsios, I'm with the Way to Go team, and I'm here to talk about how to dress for winter bike commuting. Does it require a ton of gear? Chances are you already have everything that you need to keep up your bike commute all winter long. For winter riding, we're after two things, staying warm and staying dry. Layering is the key to both of those. First layer, a moisture wicking base layer. You want to stay away from cotton. Second layer, fleece jacket or a sweatshirt, either one works. Final layer, waterproof and windproof shell. This will keep the elements out. Any fleece lined or thin skull cap would suffice. We just want to make sure it fits underneath your helmet. Also just cover your ears with a little ear cover. Net gaiters are also very beneficial because they, they help keep in the core body temperature but you can also use it to cover your mouth. For the hands, nice little knit glove like this. If it's over 40, 45 degrees, this should be enough. If it's under 40, a windproof cycling glove like this, notice the grip. If it's under 30, you can combine the two. Now, if it's snowing or raining, a neoprene glove like this, made out of kind of a wetsuit material, will be completely waterproof. For the feet, you want to go with a thin wool sock. Don't go too thick because it can constrict blood flow and then you'd have a really, really cold foot. Pair that with a nice hiking boot or maybe a trail shoe that has some wind and or water protection. A good rule of thumb is that you're going to be a little bit cold at the beginning of a ride. Within a few minutes you'll be generating enough heat to keep you comfortable. Be sure and experiment with your layers at different temperatures to find out what works best for you. Happy winter bike commuting!